Okay, this is a series of poems, uh, each dedicated to a letter of the alphabet. Uh, I'm going to do them in a couple of sections, because um, 26 poems is a bit much to ask. Um, I'll take us from maybe A to H. Um, see if that grabs you. I'll start with A. A. You were the first sound that we properly learn to say you are the great connector, a bridge between you and they. You are the honest alpha, soft and unmale, a letter to define all letter buys, a beginning, a start, an A. B. You follow, sometimes you proceed, bouncing along from vowel to vowel, you multiply our meaning, you are elastic, you can sting, your percussive note, soft but warns of consonants to come, you can be a real B. C. Here it comes, the consonant of consonants, a real connoisseur. You kick the jelly out of your brother and let your amigo wail. You can call me a cab, you can break backs, you can say you were a violent little fucker, but your second face, also soft, like lace chiffon, a joyous occasion or celebration, you can have class, you are chic, you can be full of grace and charm, you must be used carefully, you are a chancy C. <laughs> I'm really, really enjoying. D. You dawn and bring us deeper into doubt, bringing a sonorous note to the dark cave. The basic shadows cast by your existing brothers, you are the dread harbinger, you are the doom, you are the dead, you are the damned drums of a brand new gravity, with your can-do and your dockers and your dames, you undermine the naive games of but three letters, your doldrums drag then grasping for another sound to our dread D. E. You get here excited, as any other letter could be. The others enjoy you, even D. No letter could really be itself without you. It couldn't be said out loud, except for O, who is very lonely. You bring joy and energy to almost everything. We have you to thank for evil and for effluence. However, you are let off almost effortlessly you can be especially entertaining, comedy and tragedy in waiting, and ecstasy was named in honour after you, an E. Okay, that's it, that's it. Basically, don't give me any more. I'll go to H. F. F. For fate's divine reasons, you were called to fish for the other letters. Where they were hooked, you would change them, muffle them, you would emphasise them also. As you funneled the sound, you could make things funny or offensive, you could differentiate, you could feel sound, and you could offer elegance of some fashion, you could F and blind, you were an intensifier mainly, with a softer landing than anything seen so far, F. Almost there. G. Good. You give us the grace to gaggle and gargle, to appreciate geese. Amongst your brothers and sisters you are the grease. Getting us home to don't pass go, mm. and in going you take the pace along. That's right. You are the gong that heralds <laughs> gear shifts. You are the letter that grifts and grafts. You mm. put the gut into laughter. You get us gradually by degrees. You are the one that gleams. You are the deep groan, you are the girl for me, you gnome, you glyph, you G. As your manager, no more. H is the last one. H. We need to sell books. Ah, hark at you, you herald home, driving us to a full stop as we exhale upon your pronunciation. You hold up chains, 
thorough and hair raising, harrowing in thought, chasing cheap and unreachable, chops and hocks of ham, heathen among others, a harem, a hen, sometimes you are laughable, chaste as a charlatan, you hearken, however, to heaven, you make hay while he shines, you are the harlot's hair, you are the cheek chair, you are the chippings, you change, you make the others shake, but still you share, you are the holding cell, you put the horror in hell, you retreat into your shell, you are hard to hold, you are the white noise, you are a hope, a breath, an H. That is it, and that is a small uh, snippet of uh, Shane Creese's many works that you can find in our links below. Yes, thank you, Rob. I hope you enjoyed that. Ta-ra.